Yo guys, Pete here again. Welcome to Hobby Tips number 22. Weathering pigments or weathering powder if you like to prefer to call it as that. So basically guys, I've worked out this sort of idea a few weeks ago and I've always, I've not tested it yet, but I have been sort of giving it a wee try. Like you guys can see right here, I have a very, very, very full tube of incense sticks. Basically, I know a lot of you know what these are. You light them up, they smell nice, make your house or place feel uh, smell absolutely amazing. But the thing I worked out is that these can be turned into weathering pigments or powders if you like. Like I will just show you guys. Basically, I just tried it every week, obviously just scratched off with my finger. But like I say, I'll just show you guys. Sorry, I'll zoom in for you. I'll just show you guys right now. Just like I say. You just simply scrape it off with a knife, a file, whatever you want. Like I say, I'm just using like a simple knife and I'm getting a good little bit off just now, showing you guys just how quickly and simply it can come off. So straight away you kind of got like a bit of a pigment or powder, but I will just quickly try and get a bit off of my fingers, just to obviously get more, more for you. But the main thing is, like I say, you can sort of scratch them off and you can get loads and loads and loads of different colours of incense sticks. Like I say, that's only a pink one. You get like greens for like mold, uh, moss and stuff on your tanks, like browns, purples, any colour you really want. And incense sticks are extremely cheap to find. Like I say, this is like a full length one and you can get a good amount off of that. It's like you saw, obviously I was struggling with a knife as it was and my fingernail and there's, it's barely gone down. But obviously, like I say, you get tons and tons of colours, like yellows, browns, purples, greens, blues. It just depends where you obviously shop for incense sticks. But the main thing is as well, well the only downside is you don't obviously get like a like a sort of dusty grey colour. But that's the thing, you can just simply light it up, let's see I've just lit it up. And then, obviously you get all the remains afterwards, all the dust in that. Well you can see obviously this is a good pile of them that I've thingied up. And all you simply do is, like I'm doing, just simply mush it down. It might be more better with one of those sort of herb bowls, you know where you sort of break down the herbs and that. But obviously like you can see, there might be wee bits of stuff in there. But like you can see, if that was more mushed down than that, that is like a perfect, perfect sort of like concrete or dust colour in that. And you can just imagine if that was like mixed with a bit of brown as well from like an incense stick as well, it would give that sort of really sort of dirty cityscape look. Like I say, if that's the only car you're after, you just buy a whole tin or packet of incense sticks and just burn them over the next couple of days or weeks and just simply like collect it in a tub or a lid or something. Because like I say, this is like a good, I'm guessing there's maybe about 30 grams worth of it in here that I've already burnt off incense sticks, which is great. And it gives an amazing, amazing concrete effect. And you don't really have to do anything. Obviously just light it, let it burn away, and then just collect up the remains afterwards and just simply mush it down, like I say. Then you've got a perfect, perfect, like concrete, concrete weather and pigment. Or like I say, as well at the start, you can obviously just scrape them all down. That is a bit more time consuming or if you're lucky enough, it might be really simple and just come off and you've got like amazing colours for your, your terrain. I should have said at the start, I would only use this tip for terrain, not miniatures, because I don't know how it would work on miniatures or how it would look. If you're going to do it on miniatures, stick to proper like forge rolled pigments or however else you get your pigments from. Stick to those proper pigments for miniatures. If you're doing it for terrain or, tr or like terrain pieces or sink bases, yeah, go ahead and do it as it will an amazing effect because obviously however you do it like if you glue it or just put a bit of water and stick it on it will give that amazing effect of pigments or dust or colors just the extra bit of an extra bit of realism to your train or scenic bases so anyway guys hope you have found this tip very helpful if you have please leave a thumbs up as it will help me make more videos like this in the future for you guys and as always i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you next time